Hey guys, it's Alex from Fit Golf TV, and you know I was thinking, and why not do a 2013 What's in the Bag? So here we go. <clears throat> okay, well first off, got a Callaway Razor Fit, 9.5 degrees aloft, driver with the two gram in the heel, 12 in the toe, and. The hosel is set on open. Shaft. Aftermarket. A dill ripped NV. 60 gram stiff flex shaft. Love the shaft. And then with the mid size black and red multi compound. <clears throat> I've actually had a problem with multi compounds lately. They. Well, only in my irons and my wedges. Just about all of them ripped after two months of use. So. Kind of sucks. Hundred dollars with the grips down the drain. Let's see if Golf Pride can figure out what happened, but right now I'm kind of out of luck. And I'm on my three wood Callaway Razor Fit three wood, fifteen degrees aloft. Love this club. Great club. The hosel set on open. The same shaft as the driver. The uh, Dilla ripped NV sixty gram stiff flex shaft. Mid-sized black and red multi-comp again. I mean, I like the grips, but they just seem not to work well for me, so they don't work well for me. I can't really use them. <clears throat> and I have 15 clubs I use in my practice bag, so I'll either take out my approach wedge or my two wood. Not many people play two wood anymore, but I, I do. It was uh, three wood with 13 degrees a lot had it bent one degree so it's a 12 degree two wood it's a Nike VR a little older style but still pretty workable and then the straight fit is set for little open and this says the Aldilla Voodoo 65 gram stiff shaft as you can tell there's a theme here I never stick with stock shafts because they don't get the full performance you could get so why not just buy an aftermarket shaft and have more fun in this game and for some reason I, re I really do like Aldilla I've had some Mitsubishi blue boards a white board I don't know they just don't work the best for me next is a Nike VR 3 hybrid with 21 degrees aloft uh, there we go uh, good hybrid. I like this more than my old Adams. This also has an Aldilla Voodoo. Stiff flex shaft. With the mid-size black and red multi-compound. I mean, multi-compounds, in my opinion, are one of the only grips that you can really play with in the rain. Because the two wraps get too slippery, the wind grips... Don't get me started. Those the club will end up farther than the ball in the rain. I used to play Taylor, Taylor made MBs, but now I hate these so much better. It's a Taylor made burner plus irons. Got a th four through approach wedge. A little thicker sole helps me get the ball up. Really thick top line, but it works for me. Then the shafts. Project X. 6.0 rifle flight, flighted shafts. In my opinion, the best shafts in the market. The nice part about the rifle flighted is that on the inside there's rifling, just like a gun barrel. So the higher iron is like 4 and the 5 iron. The ball flight will be easier to get up in the air. And then the low irons, like the 8 9 pitch, will have a more penetrating ball flight. So that that's really nice to have. And then for my two wedges, I have Nike V Rev VR wedges. And this is the 60 degree with 6 degrees of bounce. I had CG 16s, but I don't I don't like the amount of spin I, I got with them. I got too much spin where it would come back. I like the ball just to bite and just stay there. Next is the 56 degree, 10 degrees of bounce. And both of these clubs have the 
Stock dynamical, that's 400 shafts. No use switching all the shafts. Pretty nice. These have the Tour Velvets on them. Go uh, Golf Pride Tour Velvets. And then for the Money Club, Putting for Dough. <clears throat> had a Scotty Cameron Newport too for two years, had to replace it. Wanted to go a little something less mainstream, and I actually think I like this more than my Scotty Cameron. This is a ping wacky half putter. Don't know why it looks funny, but I make putts with it. So you can see it's center shafted, has a metal insert face. Really stops me from pushing putts. Then my ping stroke fitting is straight. As you can see. And then I have a wind light triple line jumbo grip. Stopping me from breaking down my wrists. And guys, again, you gotta get fit. I mean, n nowadays, you have to get fit if you want to play at any competitive level. My UCD club is getting to the bag more. Now, the bag is a Nike 2013 hybrid stand bag. Love this bag. It's only a pound and a half heavier than the Taylor Made Ultralight. It has a lot more pockets, and that's what I need. So I carry a lot of stuff I don't need to, but. <clears throat> oh well. So first, we'll start out with this pocket. This is my rainweather pocket. Got a poncho. Never want to be too hot on the course. Want to have fun. And the rain cover for the clubs. And then, right here to hold a drink, water bottle. This is a big upgrade from last year. You can only fit two water bottle, bottles in the cooler pocket. This one you can fit three or four. Which is nice, especially for high school. And you gotta walk every 18 holes. Tees switch from zero frictions to three and a quarter inch one tees. Won't mark my driver. They break as much as the zero friction tees do. So, yep. Golf balls, golf balls, golf balls. I have balls for par three courses. Nike PD Softs. In my mind, the most underrated ball. Really soft. I love these golf balls. Especially for the price. Played the TP5s. Too much driver spin for me, so I use TP3s. Get just, just enough spin on the green, so these work. Good ball. I like them. Now this, brand new TaylorMade Lethal Golf Ball is the prototype ball. TaylorMade sent me a sleeve. Great, great golf ball. My mind better than the TP5. Only problem is they still do get marked up. It's not like TaylorMade's going to come out with a ball that will never get marked up. But for the money, come out February 1st, guys. Buy a pack, try them. Good ball. Then of course, got TaylorMade TP5s, got Titleist Pro V1s, I got just Callaways, Titleist, Callaway Tour ISs, I got B330s, I got, I got just about every ball. I love trying them. Just see which ball works best for me. Right now, still the TP3. I might switch to lethal. I don't know yet. In here, my Callaway driver wrench. As you can see, in the bag, just got golf balls. If you, if you hit a bad shot, you just want to hit another ball just to work the shot. Got some decent Nikes. Got old Pro V's. I got some Callaway HX Hots. Just. Just older balls, or balls that aren't turning worthy in my game. And then, a lot of people laugh at me for this, I have an Intec glove. It isn't made for rainy weather, but in my mind the best rain weather glove ever. I hate wearing two gloves, this glove's the best, it gets really tacky. Don't know how or why, but it works. Cali practice glove, you, as you can tell, ripped in the th thumb. Good glove for practicing. Pretty durable. Yep. 
Then next, got the Nike Extreme gloves. Those are my tournament and gamer gloves. Let's take one out for you guys. I really like to keep them in the packaging. It keeps them nice and dry. There you go. See? Look nice, feel nice. Great, great glove. I like it. Then in the final pocket of this hybrid bag, this thing holds as much as a cart bag, so that's why I love it. Grab anything out. Got a special ball that my neighbor gave me, that I got from my neighbor before he passed away. Oh Good luck for me. Got a thing to mark my ball with. Just do a single red dot, sometimes do the line, depending on the kind of golf ball. Got my Christmas Mountain Dew Repair Tool. I got my Countryside Golf Club Dew Repair Tool. Got a pencil. If I can find my ball marker. I use real special ball, mar ball markers. Got one military coin. Fallen Soldiers. Then I got another military coin for Command Sergeant Major, which my grandpa was in the U.S. military. Really special coin to me. I think it's really awesome that he gave it to me. To mark my golf ball with. And yeah, guys, that's that's my bag for the 2013 season. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Check out my other videos, guys. See you later. Haters, 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 haters,